The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you knew me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and we shall be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because... I am going to the Father. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A happy Mother's Day to all mothers in our parish community. My dear sisters and brothers, as we, as families and as a community and as a nation, rally around our mothers and express our appreciation and gratitude to them this weekend for who they are, to us and for what we have become because of our association with them, Christ tells us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And although we are five Sundays away from Easter Sunday, we continue to rejoice in the risen Christ who is our way, the truth, and the life. We now pause to salute our mothers, our grandmothers, people that have played mothers in our lives, who fed us, who nourished us, who have shown the way to us, bore witness to the truth, and who made our lives what it is.
And on behalf of St. John Vianney, I'd like to express my appreciation to Debbie and would like to welcome her as she comes up to share a few reflections on motherhood. Thank you, Father William. When I was asked to share a reflection today on motherhood during this time of pandemic, I admit that I found it mildly ironic that the readings today were all about the father. Um, not that fathers are not important, they certainly are, and we will get back to them, but father is mentioned no fewer than 10 times in John's gospel today. It's a beautiful gospel. John is not dismissing mothers, he's merely stating the great truth. God has prepared a place for all of us to share eternal life with God. And Jesus is the way, the one to imitate, to prepare for our eternal life with God. So on this Mother's Day, when we cannot gather together, when children and grandchildren often cannot be with their mothers and grandmothers, even though they may not live far away, how do mothers imitate Jesus, not to prepare themselves, or in order to prepare themselves, as well as their families, not just for the end of this lockdown, but for the end of this life entirely so that we can enter the next life, our eternal life with God. And I think mothers have a unique and critical role in helping their children find that space and place. As children grow, they want to understand who they are and who they can become. What will they do? What career will they choose? Who will they marry? Mothers often keep and tell their children the family stories, and they sit with their children as they dream of what they can be, and that they encourage them to keep reaching for more. I mean, didn't Mary even set Jesus on his mission at the wedding in Cana and make the space and ask Jesus to step into his role that God had prepared for him. But mothers often have an even more important role in helping their children find their ultimate space and place, their space and place with God. Mothers often introduce their children to God and provide an image of God to their children. During this time when we are all sheltered at home, mothers are trying to create a sense of safety and security in what feels like an unsafe world for everyone. And to do this now more than ever, mothers must find and hold a place of peace and trust in God within themselves so that they can share that peace with their family. Motherhood is never easy. You love your children with such a fierce love. You build a nest for them. You live your lives, their lives with connections. You fill them with stories, routines, traditions, and then you watch them leave, break all those connections so that they can learn to fly and build their own new connections. Right now we sit in that very space, everyone, the space between what we knew and what we were comfortable with and the space that is unknown. But what we do know, it will be different, just as Father said. It is uncomfortable, it is painful, and a bit frightening. Mothers everywhere are trying to hold that space for themselves and to support their family during this uncertainty. So on this most unique Mother's Day, my prayer is that mothers will allow themselves and their families to be changed by this time, to reevaluate re what is really important and what is their purpose, what is their own mission, and to allow their children to be free to find their own missions. We grow so much during these times of transitions, but we suffer much too. For all of you mothers that can't be with your children and grandchildren today because of the shelter in place, because they are, or because they are now with God, I pray that pain is soothed with the deep love 
that you feel for them. And for all of you children that can't be with their moms because of the lockdown or because they are with God now, I pray that you can feel that deep maternal love and that you are comforted by it as you come ever closer to knowing your own purpose and path in life. For all who have struggled in their relationships with their moms or with their children, and for those even who have given up their children so that they might have better lives, know that God is infinite love and infinite mercy. God can comfort the pain of that breach, heal the wounds, and lead us forward. I pray that you may have an experience of that mercy. And for those children who are with their mothers today, I pray that you celebrate Mother's Day today by simply loving your mothers and really appreciating them. That is the greatest gift that you can give your mothers today. God, as Father William always says, is both father and mother. So when John refers to the father in the gospel, we know that he is also talking about God, our mother, who holds us in the palm of God's hand and will never leave us if we reach out. And truly, where would mothers be without fathers? And we have some fathers in faith that we need to recognize today. This weekend is St. John Vianney's birthday on May 8th. And that day also happens to be the 30th anniversary of our own Father William's ordination <laughs> to the priesthood. So I would like to end with a Hail Mary for our mothers and also for St. John Vianney and our spiritual leader, Father William. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers.